Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 63rd Annual Celebration of Academic Excellence. My name is Dries Fadil, and it is my pleasure co to conduct this ceremony as president of the National Honor Society. To begin, I would like to invite our distinguished guests to give their opening remarks. First, we have the Honorable Mayor Holliday, who will be followed by Superintendent Gallagher, and then by Principal Wolf. Good evening, NHS students, families, and teachers. Welcome to our 63rd Annual Celebration of Academic Excellence. Congratulations to all high school honorees on your academic achievements. It is wonderful to see all you have accomplished. Your continued drive and commitment to excel even now in the face of such challenging circumstances. While this pandemic requires us to celebrate you in a manner different than how we had it anticipated, Please know that throughout this time of flux and constant challenges, our pride in all of you remains constant. I commend you all for your continued focus and motivation to stay on track with moving your learning and academics forward. In spite of this pandemic, learning remotely, being socially distanced from your classmates and studying from home and alone, you thrived. Congratulations for putting in the hard work. I believe our learning community will emerge stronger from all of this. And we owe a lot of that to you. You inspire all of us. As I applaud you, I also want to recognize your teachers who have nurtured your scholarly development and your dedicated staff who have guided and supported you along with your family. Again, congratulations to our scholars, Braun, Silver, and Gold Key honorees on your academic achievements. I wish you all the best for continued success. Thank you. Well, first of all, I'd like to uh, welcome uh, to our annual academic honor celebration. I'd like to welcome our honored guests, school committee, and staff. Also, I'd like to thank everyone for being here tonight. To our parents and our guardians, and family members, I'm sure tonight's recognition reflects the many years of homework help, long nights supporting your children in their studies. Since you are here, you know that your support has truly paid off. And mostly, I welcome our young scholars. I'm pleased to be with you all tonight to celebrate your accomplishments. Newburyport is a city that prides itself on tradition and innovation. You might think those two ideas are not compatible, but the best innovations reflect important lessons from history and respect ideas and rituals from the past. So much has happened this past year to remind us how much we value our traditions. We, must, we miss pep rallies, we miss color day, in the high school musicals. But innovation has actually allowed us to keep our great traditions alive here in Newburyport. So here we are today on the cameras of Zoom using innovative technologies to make sure the time-honored tradition of recognizing Newburyport scholars with bronze, silver, and gold keys continues. Sometimes I think our students underestimate the importance of their efforts. Why am I here today and why our beloved family members are here is to remind you that each key you have earned, you are making an investment in yourself. For every night you were up late reading a novel that you didn't choose or finishing a problem set that you didn't quite understand, for every academic challenge you push through you are opening the doors to your future. You are becoming a scholar, a person who understands the power of reading, writing, speaking, and listening. If you are here for your bronze key, I hope you're inspired by your fellow Clippers who are earning their silver and gold keys. And if you're here for the silver and gold awards, I want to congratulate you on your commitment to excellence, and I assure you, a commitment to learning will always pay off. Finally, I'd like to congratulate our Bresnahan student athlete, our valedictorian and salutatorian,
for your tremendous achievements. And I didn't want to do a spoiler alert because we are taping these, so I couldn't say your names yet. Um, but I also want to thank Dries Fidel uh, for all that he has done in facilitating this wonderful night. In closing, I would be remiss not to acknowledge the unique circumstances under which you have all earned your keys this school year. You have been students in a pandemic, and the challenges you have overcome to continue on learning have been great. So I thank you for turning on your cameras and Google Meets, for participating in classroom conversations with peers who are on the screens and teachers who are in person, and mostly for showing up every day to learn when it would have been easy not to. So congratulations, and as the Clipper family says, onward and forward. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Holliday and Mr. Gallagher for your remarks and reserving time to be a part of tonight's ceremony. And good evening to everyone who is here tonight to recognize the academic accomplishments of our students. And thank you, Dries, for emceeing tonight's events. Regardless of our circumstances, this stretch of the school year continues to be an exciting time for us. Just before the vacation, some of you participated in the National Honor Society induction ceremony, and in a few weeks, we will recognize our National Art Honor Society students, which will then be followed by the recognition of our graduating class. As for right now, we celebrate the 63rd anniversary of the Academic Awards Night, in which students from all grade levels are recognized for their academic achievements. Though the world is very different today than it was 63 years ago when this ceremony started, it's important to note that the qualities our students exhibit to meet high academic excellence are still the same. Hard work, strong resolve, a positive attitude, and dedication. Our mission statement highlights this drive for excellence and notes the importance of having partnerships to do so. So with that said, I want to say to all of, um, all of our students, be sure to thank your parents, peers, and teachers from all grade levels who have supported you in meeting tonight's accomplishment. You have worked hard, and that is to be commended. With all of that said, the coordination of tonight's ceremony involves a lot of work and organization. I want to thank Ms. Krupe and Mr. Littlefield for everything they have done to prepare tonight's student speakers and make our ceremony special. I also want to thank Port Media for their partnership throughout this entire pandemic. Caleb Noble, Tyler Neufell, and Sarah Hayden have gone above and beyond over the past year to make sure our large-scale events can be broadcast to families in their homes. Their professionalism and expertise has been second to none, and I'm extremely grateful for what they have been able to do. Now, as for the 63-year history of the Academic Awards Night, the student president of our chapter of the National Honor Society has emceed the ceremony. I think this says so much about Newburyport's emphasis on academic achievement by having a student-facilitated ceremony to recognize student success in the classroom. Tonight's ceremony is a celebration of scholarship. Not only do we recognize students who have earned an academic key, but is the point of the school year when the senior classes, valedictorian, salutatorian, and Bresnahan scholar athlete are announced. As we move on to this part of the ceremony, each student will be introduced by a peer and then will share their own perspectives and insight on academic, athletic, and social achievement. The students will also see their recognitions after they talk. Another part of tonight is we also recognize our students who will be representing Newburyport High School at the North Shore Scholars event. That's our top 5% in the senior class, and they get to participate in a ceremony with all other students from around the North Shore. 
Before giving the podium back to the students, I want to say congratulations to all of our students here for the work you have put in to be recognized tonight. Thank you. When I think about Dries, many things come to mind. My favorite Dries memory could absolutely be the time that he got stuck in the chicken coop at our friend's house and almost missed his baseball practice because of it. Or when he filled his car with diesel accidentally and his car came to a stop halfway through his drive home. His grandfather still calls him Driesel for that. Although numerous other humorous stories come to mind when I think of Dries, the overarching theme in the rest of my memories is his unwavering commitment to each and every endeavor that he chose to take on. Dries is a runner at heart, and many of his fondest memories came during our innumerable number of practices or meets together. And it's in this setting that I began to truly understand Dries's near in inhuman uh, dedication. I've had the privilege of being teammates and close friends with numerous college runners, and I can assure you that none of them have worked as hard as I've seen Dries work. Throughout my years on the team, I, Dries was always the hardest worker among us. Whether it was in running or in school, Dries would not be satisfied until he reached to as close as perfection as he could possibly get. And this is all the more evident after realizing that he was a key member on the first state champion winning cross country team at Newburyport High School, as well as the salutatorian for the class of 2021. With all that said, it's my privilege and my honor to introduce the class of 2021's salutatorian, my good friend, Dries Fadil. Thank you for those kind words, Mr. Keeley. <clears throat> I think we can all agree that this past year has been pretty sus. I know only some among us will get that reference. Anyways, it's like my boy Tony was saying, these awards are important for reminding the kids what they're doing and how to do it. It's important to complete all our tasks because they're vital to propelling us forward on this metaphorical spaceship that we all find ourselves on. Here at NHS, we strive for a sense of community and to be the best versions of ourselves that we can be. And so if you ever see someone complaining about their homework or venting about a class, make sure to hit the emergency button in the cafeteria. Remind your crewmates that we're all on one team. But today we're here to honor those among us who have gone above and beyond in the call of duty. Everyone here has been an inspiration, and we couldn't have won the round if we didn't all work together. This night is about you making it all happen. It's just like when Tony says, dang, among us go drip. We have, <laughs> we have such amazing talent and ingenuity here at NHS. Electrical technicians, wire cutters, gasoline fillers, key card swipers, and more. You get down and do the dirty work, work the extra hours, go the extra mile because you know that we have to finish our tasks. You know how important it is that these things get done. Working hard can be hard. So it's even more impressive that in a year this sus, we're still willing to work so hard. Congratulations to all the little crewmates out there. This year, I have the honor of presenting one of my closest friends, Caroline Walsh, as Newburyport High School's 2021 valedictorian. Caroline and I have progressed together throughout high school, sharing classes, friends, and sports. These are all of immense importance to me and to Caroline, but one sport in particular embodies some of Caroline's most successful qualities, 
Caroline's track event is the two mile, which I'd argue is one of the most mentally challenging high school sports events. It's hard to understand just how tormenting it is to run eight laps around a track and just how easy it is to succumb to the pain and slow down. For this reason, there's only one person who our coach can count on to run this event with remarkable consistency, and that person is Caroline. The reason that Caroline is able to accomplish this task is because of her unique ability to tap into a vault of unwavering hard work. Her work ethic shines in every area of her life, and being honored as valedictorian tonight proves that. Just like she does in the two mile, she's able to push herself in school and in life with a consistency that is completely unmatched. All throughout high school, she has put in the work on every single assignment, and on the rare occasion that her first try was not satisfactory, she has no problem putting in more work to improve. She has been successful in everything she pursues in high school, from her cross country captainship to qualifying for the interscholastic meet her first season on the ski team after joining as a senior, to playing an integral role in our class's organization through her elected position as treasurer. The last time we watched her speak was at our eighth grade graduation, during which she received another award recognizing her hard work at the middle school level. I can't wait to watch her continue this pattern in her future at Tufts, but as for right now, I am beyond excited to introduce this year's valedictorian, Caroline Walsh. Thank you so much for the kind introduction, Addie. Good evening, students and families. I want to congratulate everyone who is receiving a bronze, silver, or gold key. I also want to congratulate the family members in attendance who have supported a recipient and made their success possible. I commend you for this accomplishment and urge you to continue striving for academic excellence. With each ACE Odyssey test, each labored over biology lab, and each victorious, though unnecessarily competitive, Kahoot game added to your repertoire of accomplishments, you've sharpened many of the skills that will take you far in life. Equally as important, with each forgotten verb conjugation, each improperly evaluated calculus integral, and each tear shed on a physics quiz, it happens to the best of us, you've strengthened your resilience and tested your drive. I encourage you to take a moment and think about the people and the communities who have metaphorically or literally wiped your tears and helped you succeed in the classroom. We are all accumulations of the values instilled in us by our various communities. I attribute my success to the, to the communities that get me through each day, whether or not they realize that their support and mere presence translates into academic motivation. My community of friends has carried me through high school. Whether it's dropping off an apple pie at my house when I couldn't figure out my physics homework, or organizing a Zoom prom that was basically the equivalent of real prom without the dinner or human interaction, my friends are a constant source of positivity. The cross country community, a group that has been known to tape leaves to ourselves and write inspirational quotes on our arms on race days, has taught me to take pride in my interests even if, if our obsession with running long distances in the woods is not very mainstream. This lesson has helped me embrace my academic passions and my unique interests. Newburyport High School is a community that I'm very fortunate to be a member of. The positivity and support that I believe characterizes NHS takes the form of Mr. Wolf's morning greeting, welcoming each and every person into the building and excitedly observing the green check mark of the all too familiar COVID symptom checker. His unconditional exuberance perfectly and comedically juxtaposes the half asleep students. Passionate, caring teachers strengthen the NHS community. Mrs. Hobbs and Ms. Taggart's engaging lessons have fostered my love of science and have encouraged me to pursue a major in biochemistry. I'm one of the lucky few NHS students who has been able to take German with Herr Wolf for four years. My current German class of just six students is a community in itself. I've been fortunate enough to have a group of teachers who not only deepen my scientific passions, but who open my eyes to new interests of mine. 
The community of Newburyport has supported us students in our academic endeavors. In middle school, Oregano awarded honor roll students with a free pizza, conditioning us to associate hard work with Italian cuisine. Now, as a senior, I see even more support in the form of the 38-page local scholarship booklet, a blatant display of our city's generosity and desire to help students with their post-secondary plans. Newburyport rewards dedication, whether that's in the form of a scholarship or a pizza, both equally as valuable. Acknowledge all of the people and groups who believe in you and who have contributed to you being here today. Next time you hear Mr. Wolf's good morning clippers, recognize this as a statement of support. Next time you rehearse a scene with your castmates, pass a baton to the next person on your relay team, or work on a group project with your peers, recognize these people as your allies. I would not have earned the opportunity to stand here before you if it weren't for everyone who has stood behind me and given me the resources and the confidence to succeed. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. This year, I have the wonderful opportunity to present the recipient of the Bresnahan Scholars Athletic Award. The award goes to a deserving young woman who dedicates endless time to her community. When she isn't spending time improving her game on the basketball court, she is involved with self-driven initiatives like her own Project Bread that raised hundreds of dollars for those who do not have meals across the state of Massachusetts. In addition to her own efforts, she and I have had the great opportunity to hold two major leadership positions as part of NHS's Interact Club, an organization where we've been able to attend and organize multiple volunteer events in the local county. Working with her in Interact, it became evident to me how passionate she is in dedicating time to those who are less fortunate, especially during this global pandemic. On a more personal level, I have had the pleasure to get to know this individual through residual plots and confidence intervals during our AP Stats class junior year. For most, a stats class might seem boring and dry, but with the subtle humor and similarities I share with this classmate, we found a way to have an excellent time, all while learning efficiently. While our year was cut in half as a result of the pandemic, I wouldn't hesitate at the chance to resume our D-Block stats class and have another chance to laugh at Mr. Littlefield's amusing jokes. Wherever this great friend ends up in her near future, I am confident that she is going to thrive and work hard despite the obstacles that may stand in her way. No matter where and what she chooses to do, the individual will never stop putting her best foot forward. For the year 2021, I have the pleasure to announce that Leah Metzger is the recipient of the Bresnahan Scholars Athletic Award. Congratulations, Leah. Thank you so much, Sam, for those kind words and good memories. Although we never got the chance to compete on the field together, you've been a great friend throughout high school. I have to be honest, I was a little nervous to be called down to Mr. Wolf's office a few weeks ago, and I was totally surprised when he told me that I was the recipient of the Francis T. Bresnahan Scholar Athlete Award. There are so many accomplished students and outstanding athletes in our grade, so I'm extremely humbled to be recognized for this award on behalf of the class of 2021. A special thank you to the Bresnahan family for the honor of this award, a scholarship they have provided since 1993, helping many students over the years. Mr. Bresnahan strongly believed that athletics were more than just an extracurricular activity, but an important part of a student's entire high school experience. I found this to be true through my time on the court and on the track which taught me valuable lessons that can't always be learned in the classroom. My family, coaches, and teammates have guided me throughout my athletic career and encouraged me to do what I love. To my family, thank you for being my biggest fans. To my coaches, 
I appreciate the instruction and encouragement to grow up to be the student athlete that I am today. And to my teammates, you are all the reason I've looked forward to showing up to practice every day for the last four years. COVID has reshaped my outlook on sports and made me realize how lucky we are to have the chance to play. One of the highlights of this year in particular was the opportunity to play on a basketball team with my younger sister. The times we shared during car rides to practice and on the court were truly special and allowed us to bond not only as sisters, but as teammates as well. After spending so much time together, my teammates have begun to feel like part of my family too, even in the way we bicker. There was one game from this past basketball season that resonated with me the most. While you may be expecting a story about my teammates, and our team did have a great season, I believe you can learn a lot from others, even your opponents. The game that struck me wasn't an important victory against our rivals, Pentucket or Amesbury, but the one in nine Rockport team with their contagious spirit. When one of Rockport's players' shots was blocked, their teammates completely laughed it off instead of beating each other up. Rockport's positive attitude and support of each other during this game reflected the priority of seeking enjoyment in sports and having fun with your teammates, not just focusing on wins and losses. I feel like my experiences on the court and on the track have been successful, not because I was a high point scorer or a state champ, but because participating in athletics benefited my leadership skills, my bonds with teammates, and encouraged me to strive for success in the classroom and on the field. Former NBA player Michael Jordan once said, just play, have fun, enjoy the game. This quote resonated with me and is how I like to think I've lived my high school years. So if you really love running or enjoy playing basketball, stick with it. Not everybody is a gifted athlete, but everyone can be a good teammate. High school goes by quickly, so spend time with people who make you smile and do, th do the things that you truly love. Thank you. Here's your, uh, what Thank you. All right, now we're going to put that down because okay. here's, this one's tricky, so you got to undo it from the top so you can show everybody out there. So the hand 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 the All right, so we're going to start flipping. Oh, there's tape. The other part is this plaque gets hung in the main foyer of the high school and Leah's uh, name will be inserted along with all the other past President Hand Scholar athletes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.
Before presenting the academic key recipients, we would like to recognize a group of individuals who have demonstrated the personal qualities of hard work and determination that will allow them to become recipients of academic keys in the near future. This list includes freshmen who have made the honor roll in their first semester, as well as upperclassmen who have made the honor roll for two consecutive semesters. We will now scroll through their names. These students have certainly been successful in their academic pursuits and have positioned themselves well in being able to attain an academic key in the near future. Congratulations. Next, we will announce the students who will represent Newburyport High School at the North Shore Honors Scholar Program, sponsored by the North Shore Chamber of Commerce. The Honors Scholar Program, now in its 53rd year, recognizes more than 300 students from 34 public and private high schools on the North Shore, all of them part of the top 5% of their graduating class. Typically, these students and their parents participate in a banquet with the top scholars from around the region. This year's reception will not be in person, but it is still quite an accomplishment. Our student representatives to the North Shore Honors Scholar Program this year are as follows. Samuel Cooper, Caroline DeSimio Maloney, Dries Fadil, Caroline Kelly, Eleanor Meinhardt, Leah Metzger, Adeline Moore, Anna Reese, Annalise Truesdale, Caroline Walsh. <coughs> We will now award the academic keys. There will be three types of keys awarded, each of which require a certain number of semesters on the honor roll. A bronze key is awarded to students who have earned a B or higher in every subject for three semesters. A silver key is awarded to students who have earned a B or higher in every subject for five semesters. A gold key is awarded to students who have earned a B or higher in every subject for seven consecutive semesters. The bronze key recipients are as follows. William Aquaviva, Henry Acton, Caitlin Adams, Anna Affalter, Emily Alford, Elena Ambrose, Cassidy Anderson, 
Stella Badalamit, Riley Baker, Olivia Barbera, Daniel Belarus, Samuel Bennett, Natalia Berlin, Elizabeth Boelk, Ryan Brennan, Eliza Brennan, Ava Broadhurst, Jameson Brooks, Ronan Brown, Jacob Bontempo, Sophia Burns, Marta Boxbaum, Parker Burns, Evan Cavallero, Grace Chapman, Alaya Chapman, Lily Carabanian, Brian Clark, Sydney Clausen, Joseph Colella, Graydon Conley, Audrey Cooper, Harry Costello, Benedict Cotter, Andrew Cullen, Claudia Cummings, Adela Diego, Olivia D'Ambrosio, Dylan Davis, Madigan DeFeo, Caitlin DeMond, Ian Dent, Jacqueline Doucette, Riley Doherty, Ethan Downs, Bradford Duchesne, Abigail Dwyer, Henry Eaton, Travis Edmonds, Alana Egan, Sammy Elias, Jesse Emerton, Edith Fernlund, Makala Flanagan, Fiona Flynn, Emma Foley, Charles Forrest, Anna Fortier, Sadie Fountain, Maxwell Gagnon, William Gagnon, Parker Gay, Vive Godfredson, Caleb Granda, James Grant, Hannah Gross, Isabella Guido, Hannah Gustafson, Olivia Gustafson, Marlo Hale, Charlotte Heinlein, Olivia Hansen, James Hargreaves, Sophia Hartford, Ava Hartley, Kate Herndon, Jessica Higginbottom, Avery Hotchheiser, Aiden Hoydel Bui, Austin Heyer, Emma Johnston, Lucy Jones, Alejandro Juste, Joaquin Justiano, Rhea Carr, Grace Kelleher, Avery Keller, Owen Co. Christian Kinsey, Tatiana Coglin, Wesley Coglin, Leela Kowalski, May Chrysler, Ella Lane, Haley LaRosa, Stephen Lawton, Isabel Leary, Abigail Luan, Adam Lynn, Kala Lively, Andrew Long, Madeline Long, Hannah Looms, Gabriella Loran, Aurora Lowell, Samuel Lyman, Xander Marino, Madeline Marshall, Jennifer Massone, Ayala Mazurana, Kellen McDermott, Deirdre McElhinney, Madeline McLeod, Colin McLoy, James Mellett, Jane Metling, Caroline Metzdorf, Alexis Mickelson, Ryan Miles, Violet Moore, Grace Moran, Arika Morse, Matthew Murray, Alexander Myrie, Elias Nathan, Catherine O'Connor, Sela Okaya, Olivia Oram, Andrew Oram, Jacob Pancoast, Rafaela Pereira, Ryan Philbin, Anthony Filipino, Mia Filipino, Oliver Pons, Alexa Quenville, Lily Ragusa, Madigan Richmond, Owen Robertson, Grace Robinson, Ella Rogers, Caitlin Rooney, Jack Roper, Isabella Rosa, Ryan Rothberg, Noah Sabo Lyuskas, Todd Santos, James Scally, Rory Schmidt, Caroline Schulson, Ann Shea, Joseph Skiba, Liam Smith, Brendan Smith, Georgia Smith, Molly Spence, Lucas Stallard, Hannah Steinberg, Avery Stevenson, Elijah Sujeki, Peter Sullivan, Maeve Sullivan, Tuala Sullivan, Owen Tank, Jason Tomiyoshi, Season Thapa, Avery Thibault, William Thorison, William Trail, Dakota Tucker, Sydney Turner, Kaylin Twitchell, 
Trevor Ward, McKenna Ward, Carly Webb, Holden Weiss, Zach Wilson, Kajsa Woodser, Michael Zielinski. Congratulations to our Bronze Key recipients. Now I will read the names of our Silver, silver Key recipients. The recipients of the Silver Key are as follows. Ryan Archer, Nathan Barry, Callie Boperlon, Sarah Bovey, Thomas John Carlio Jr., Patrick Casino, Nicholas Chamberlain, Grady Childs, Tyler Clements, Nicholas Colella, Chloe Comperbone Barre, Tyler Coles, Tyler Coles, Hannah Cronin, Lucas Dagnaltz, Jackson Darling, Emma Delahanty, Lily Delahanty, Duncan Denner, Caroline Doyle, Fiona Dunphy, Ryan Edwards, Nolan Elrott, Elijah Evanson, John Fellner IV, Madigan Fels, Sadie Fiddler, Sam Foley, Brady Ford, Emily Fuller, Emma Gabriel, Caitlin Gallagher, Aidan Geary, Sydney Gediman, Alexander Georgopoulos, Abigail Gillingham, Gianna Gillis, Calvin Gorski, Charlotte Gretz, Leah Gridley, Charles Grossman, Jonathan Groth, Michael Habib, Shannon Harrington, Samuel Hazo, Thomas John, Peter King, Samantha King, Isabel Kirby, Lauren Coleman, Samuel Langis, Andrew Lassen, Taylor Lever, Zachary Lever, Emma Lowe, Melania Lucci, Trevor Maines, Caroline Marino Babcock, Jackson Marshall, Lee McClure, Ryan McHugh, Ross Meinhart, Nora Morrissey, Grant Moseshin, Megan Murray, Chase Naughton, Elizabeth Newman, Sophia Novello, Brady O'Donnell, Camille Ouellette, Lucy Page, Mickey Palermino, Andrew Pang, Abigail Parr, Avi Patel, Campbell Pierce, Thomas Pennington, Isabella Pasolano, Nicholas Petty, Madison Pittman, Luke Powers, Catherine Quinn, Julia Quintal, Sadie Reardon, Mia Rodriguez, Zoe Cease, Graham Smith, Oscar Stroman, Noella Suchecki, Christopher Thorison, Lily Troop, Elizabeth Turgeon, Madison Valente, Tristan Vincent, Caroline Wall, Samuel Walker, Martina Ward, Alexandra Waters, Molly Webster, Aquina Wareween, Sydney Yim, Mia Yim. Congratulations to all of our Silver Key recipients. Now I will read the names of our Gold Key recipients. The recipients of the Gold Key are as follows. Ava Ambrose, Edie Banovic, Mia Bonakorski, Jack Bregner, Shannon Brennan, Anna Britton, Charles Cahillan, Thomas Childs, Samuel Cooper, Caroline DeSimio Maloney, John Donovan, Alina Derogi, El Doucette, James Diamond, Dries Fadil, Elizabeth Ferguson, Devin Flanagan, Mitchell Gorski, Spencer Gray, Zachary Gilyu, Nathan Hall, Maya Havarda, Franklin Hillhouse, Haley Howgate, Megan Kaiser, Kelly Kane, Brendan Keeley, Emma Keith, Ian Keller, Caroline Kelly, Megan Kempton, Christian Kerr, Sierra Leahy, Alexander Lassard, Sophia Layden, Anthony Lucci, Trace Lustgarden, Samuel Majahad, Anna McCloskey, Nora McElhinney, Owen McNeil, Madison Medeiros, Eleanor Meinhart, Leah Metzger, Adeline Moore, Ava Neely, Erin Osinski, Molly Page. Liberty Palermino, Jake Palma, Autumn Parsigan, Olivia Passan, Anna Reese, Matthew Reeves, Colin Richmond, Clara Riley, Jacob Robertson, Catherine Sarah, Lily Sava, Logan Schilling, Eleanor Schulson, Amelia Snyder, Lily Spaulding, Tyler Sperry, Tucker St. Lawrence, Kaylee Sullivan, Annalise Truesdale, 
Ashley Ventura, Caroline Walsh, Olivia Webb, Nicholas White. That concludes the gold keys. Congratulations to all of our gold key recipients. And congratulations to everyone who is recognized tonight. Keep achieving, keep doing what you love, and have the faith that what you learned today will help you to tomorrow. Thank you to the parents for supporting us in all of our endeavors, both in and out of the classroom. A special thank you to the teachers and the staff of Newburyport High School for your relentless dedication this year. Finally, thank you to Port Media for broadcasting this event, and thanks for tuning in. Have a great night, and go Clippers. Thank you.